What's up everybody and welcome back to another episode of 5 Cool Mods for Fallout 4. So it has been quite a while since my last rendition of this series. There really hasn't been a ton of mods coming out for Fallout 4 due to the release of Skyrim Special Edition. Fortunately, things are slowly starting to pick back up and we're getting more and more releases as each and every week goes by. With all that being said, if you guys do enjoy the series, I really encourage you to consider subscribing. But with that, let's just jump right into it. So the first mod I do want to show you guys is going to be the Lever Action Rifle Reload Fix. That little intro clip is showing you the default Lever Action Rifle. Even if you shot only one bullet, or in my case only had one bullet on you, you would still have to put in and go through the whole animation of putting in five additional bullets into the gun. This is very time consuming and honestly just not fun to look at if you use this gun on the regular. Well fortunately, we do have a mod now that's basically going to make it so you just put as many bullets in as you need. So if you shoot two times, then you're going to put in two bullets, three times, three bullets, etc etc. It's not perfect, it has a few glitches associated with it. Sometimes after firing, it's going to force de-zoom you, so sometimes it'll force you out of being zoomed in. And then beyond that, sometimes there's a glitch where it'll only put in one bullet and count as a full reload. That one's not hugely bad because honestly it kind of helps you out and it makes your reloads much quicker. All around, I think this is a must download if you're someone that uses the lever action rifle. This is a huge improvement and honestly this should have been in the game to begin with. All around, a very good mod and extremely lightweight. So up next we have XXL Nukes. So basically what this mod is going to do is make it so some of the nuclear explosions and really just explosions in general in Fallout 4 are going to be much larger and much more noticeable, kind of being a force to be reckoned with. So yes, the Fat Man and Mini Nukes were pretty strong before, but they didn't really have that massive explosion that you really were like, wow, a nuke's going off. Well, with this mod, you're going to get a much larger explosion and more importantly, even a much larger fireball. After you fire a few Mini Nukes, you definitely feel like, okay, I just shot off a pretty strong and powerful powerful weapon and this really does change all the nuclear kind of explosions in the game so car explosions and some nuka cola grenades are actually also going to have bigger explosions although not necessarily on par with that of mini nukes there are a few different options when you're downloading the mod to what size of kind of explosions you do want maybe you don't want as massive explosions as i have in this video then you do have some other options to have it a little bit smaller in the future the mod author actually plans on adding some other features to nuclear explosions like fire damage and radiation damage following the site of the explosion which i think actually sounds Sounds very cool and definitely something to keep my eye out for. So next up we have the Bozar, an automatic sniper rifle. Basically it's going to add in the pretty iconic weapon from Gunrunner's Arsenal for Fallout New Vegas. This mod is actually extremely simple, basically again it adds in this fully automatic sniper rifle quote unquote. I don't actually think it's necessarily appropriate to use it as a sniper rifle, even all the way upgraded you're only going to be doing about 80 to 90 damage per shot, which isn't really sniper rifle status. Regardless it's still a pretty cool and interesting mod, there isn't really a ton in the way of weapon customization, you can only change the different receivers and scopes and then there's a few different muzzles you have on it like a silencer and compensator and stuff like that. Regardless, this is going to be won by Mike Moore and I actually have kind of critiqued him in the past for not having the highest texture quality on his weapons. This one definitely is going to be a step above some of his previous weapons. So big shout out to him for that. I don't dislike the way this gun looks at all. I actually think it looks kind of cool, especially when you're using it. With all that being said, I feel like you really have to use this as more of a medium range rifle. I don't think the recoil is really manageable enough to use it from long ranges with a full on sniper scope. But again, maybe you'll find a way. Maybe your wrist is a little bit better at compensating for the recoil manually, but regardless, it's a pretty cool weapon and definitely a good one to add to your game. So next up we have a relatively silly or simpler mod. Get Out of My Face is basically going to give you an option to push all the different NPCs in the game. It's going to add in a holotape and you have different perk levels so you can do it in combat, out of combat, friendly NPCs, only enemy NPCs, and you could even customize how far you want to push people. But basically when you walk up to about talking distance of a different NPC, you will now have the option to click R or depending on whatever you have your keybind to, to actually shove them and you actually have a fully voiced and custom animation here where they'll kind of push them away and depending on what what the setting is for the force of the push, they may go flying or they'll just kind of roll five feet in front of you. It's actually semi viable to use this in combat. You can push away different enemies, especially some of the higher level ones, and then try and get a few kind of cheap shots on them, especially if you're using kind of a tank gear shotgun character or something like that. All around again, it's kind of a silly or funny mod. I don't dislike it. I think it definitely serves a place in everyone's game. That's one of those things that you kind of forget you have installed and then you'll kind of walk up and be like, oh, hey, I can push this guy and then push them and that's kind of fun. 
So last but not least, we have the Military Pinup Outfit Pack. So it's going to basically add in a pretty cool and styling looking outfit for female characters that's not really slooty out there. There are a few different combinations of this, so ones with different pants and ones without the jacket and then just the tank top, etc, etc. I'm personally using the one with the coat and the pants because I just think it looks the best. This is going to be by Crimson Rider. He's made quite a few different outfit packs in the past and I got to say this thing is definitely pretty high quality and it actually looks pretty good. It fits into Fallout 4 very well, especially if you're using some winter mods like I am to kind of get into the festive spirit but all around definitely a cool download and again i like that it's not a super slooty mod or anything like that that's gonna pretty much wrap it up for this episode of five core mods i do hope you guys enjoyed i'm actually extremely sick while filming this i feel absolutely horrible so hopefully the video came out okay if you guys did make it to this point in the video comment nyquil down below as always thank you guys for watching i do hope you enjoyed again and i hope to see you all next time later